Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Webhook inside Cash Free. So, Cash Free is an amazing payment gateway which allows users to very easily manage all their transactions, create payment links, payment forms, and etc. Okay, so I'm going to show you step by step that how you can set up a connection between Cash Free and Pabli Connect to send the response from Cash Free to any other application automatically. For that, we have to set up the connection with the help of Webhook. Webhook acts as a bridge to set up connections between different applications and for transferring the data from one application towards another automatically on a happening of a specific event. We are going to learn how we can set up webhook inside cash free so that we can send the data from cash free on the happening of a specific event to any other application automatically. Now before moving forward you can see that there are two windows on my screen trigger and action. So trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose we are going to take cash free over here in our trigger. And here I want that whenever a new payment will be made in cash free, then I want to create a record of that payment with all the details in Google Sheets. So I'm going to take Google Sheets in my action. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the payment is received on cash free, then only the record is created in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding this concept let us move towards the setting up webhook inside cash free for that we have to go towards trigger step and our trigger application over here will be cash free so let's select that now we have to select the trigger event so trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start here we have multiple options payments refunds settlement initiated payment via link payment via form and etc so on the happening of whichever specific event you want to receive the response you have to select that event over here let's suppose i want that whenever the payment will be received via form which i have created in cash free then i want to receive the response in public connect so we have to select payment via form over here as our trigger event now as we have done that we can see that a webhook url is provided to us along with some instructions so basically we have to follow these instructions step by step to set up the connection and for this the webhook url which is provided to us is going to act as a bridge so now whenever the payment will be received via form so a new response will be captured through this webhook url okay now for that we have to first of all copy this url and then i'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do so we have to go towards cash free account and currently i'm working in test mode as you can see now from the left side we can see the option option of developers over here so let's select that and here is the option of webhooks so we have to select that now we have to create a new webhook to set up the connection so we have to click on this add webhook endpoint now first of all in the endpoint url field we have to paste the url which we have recently copied from public connect then we have to select the webhook version so this is the date i have selected that and now we have to click on test as we have done that the test data is sent successfully so now we are going to click on next and here we have to select the event on the happening of which we want to receive the response. So I want that whenever the payment will be success, that when the payment will be received, then I want to capture the response. So here my event will be success payment. So I've selected that and now we have to click on add webhook. As we have run that, our webhook is added successfully. So let's go back towards public connect. Here we have already received the test response. This means the connection is absolutely successful. Now we'll click on this recapture webhook response button. And as we have done that, now it is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. How we are going to do that? By submitting the form and making the payment. So I'm going to go back towards cash free and because I'm working in test mode, so here I'm going to make a test submission. Okay, so this is the option of payment forms. We'll go towards all and these are the forms which I've already created in my cash free account. So I'm going to make payment for one of these forms. So I'm going to make the payment for let's say this PHP course. So I will copy the link of the form and I will open it in a new tab. So the form is opened. This is the amount for which we have to make the payment. This, this is the image of the course. Okay, now we have to enter the details. So the customer will have to enter the details to make the payment. And because I'm doing a test submission, so I'm going to enter the dummy details over here. Let's start with the name. Let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form and making the payment is test user. And the email is test user 390 at the rate of And here I'm going to enter a random phone number also. And now we'll click on pay. Now, because I am doing a test submission, therefore I'm going to use a dummy card to make the payment. So I will select the card number and all the details. Th these are the details of the dummy card. And now I'm going to click on pay now. 
and I will enter the OTP. And the payment is successful. So let's go back towards Public Connect. Here we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details. And the type is Payment Success Webhook. So because we have received this response through Webhook, this is the date and time at which the payment is received. Here's the status of the payment that is success. And here's the payment method, debit card, card number, and all other details as well, along with the details of the person who has submitted the form. This is the email address, phone number, and this is the name. And this is the amount is also given. So this means that our connection is absolutely successful. In the same manner, you have to set up the connection for any event you want that on the happening of whichever event you want to receive the response. Okay. And then you have to set up the connection with the help of webhook URL. Now, once you will set up this connection with cash free and Pabli connect as trigger, you can automatically send the response from cash free to any other application. Let's say here the purchase is made for PHP course. If I want that whenever the purchase will be made in cash free, I want to send the ebook to the person. Then I can add Gmail also as my action application so that I can attach the ebook to that email and I can send to the customer automatically. Further, I can also add WhatsApp Cloud API over here to send automated WhatsApp message to the customer for their order summary. And even I can add Google Sheet or MS Excel to create a record. Okay, so according to your requirements, you can create your workflow by adding as many action steps as you want. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli .com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.